Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week it is on the lane function in Cubase. It is quite a basic feature, but it's extremely useful to get a bit of control over the MIDI and also the audio as well. Essentially what it does, it takes the MIDI that you have, so let's enter some basic MIDI here. It will put that on lane 1 by default. But then you can have lane 2, lane 3, lane 4, etc. And that allows you to control each one of those lanes independently. That might not make much sense at the moment. So let's give a bit of context to that. Here I have just a basic um, drum and bass kit that I just loaded up in Groove Agent. Let's make it something drum and bass worthy. The kick is on C1, so let's put this on C1. Now what you would normally do, and what I see most people do, is when they want something else in the same MIDI channel, they want, let's say, a snare, so that's D1, they would put the snare on D1 in the same channel. Let's collapse the lanes. So you have something that looks like this. But then I want to change the velocity of the snares. I have to go, okay, well it's this one and it's this one. Reduce, reduce. And when you only have two elements there, it might not be such, such a big deal. But when you have something that overlaps like this, let's say the hi-hats, now it just gets a complete mess. So you have to select them and then you can change them. Then I'm not confident that it hasn't overridden this one. It's just, as I said, a mess. The best way to do it, therefore, is to split out the lanes. So then we take this one and we duplicate it. And now on lane 2, I only want the snare. And here, I can do select all. Because I couldn't do that before, I would have selected the kick as well. Now I do select all, velocity 100. And it's done everything. So I have my kick on lane 1, snare on lane 2. And now, let's say I want some hats, let's put them on lane 3. And now, as to give the example that I gave before about one channel being too loud, or one element being too loud, quite clearly the hats are too loud. So now we can go in into this separate lane and reduce the velocity on just the hats in confidence that it's not affecting the kick or the bass. So there we go, just a quite a simple one this week, also very quick, but extremely useful for organising your MIDI clips, especially when you get some detailed MIDI, such as for drums, and you need some granularity there in order to split it out. Hope that helped, and I will see you next week. Bye.